Hey collectors, how you doing? We are going through my sports memorabilia today. A little hint, it's pretty much all hockey, except for one. But uh, we're going through some of my favorite sports memorabilia that I have. Some of it is valuable, some of it is sentimentally valuable. Um, but they all have a really good story and I wanted to share them with you. You've seen some of these in different videos, different PSA graded videos, but this is really just it complete. Someone had mentioned they'd love to see what my collection looks like, so love to share that with you today. So before we jump into that, if you have not seen me before, hi, my name is Mark. I'm the Millennial Collector. I collect Pokemon cards, I collect sporting goods, and I'm a dad. <laughs> my daughter joins me sometimes in the videos. And we just make a lot of fun videos, certainly Pokemon news related, uh, PSA returns, BGS returns, lots of fun stuff. So if you have not, please consider subscribing. Please leave a like on this video and let's get into it. Number 10. So we're starting at number 10 and let me move a few things out of the way here. You have seen this before. This is my gigantic PSA graded uh, ticket that I got. This was a game that I went to. This is the Montreal Canadiens 100th anniversary game. Uh, this was a Centennial Classic. Oop, hitting the mic. And this was such a fun game to go to. We were in the nosebleeds um, and I went with uh, my father and a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, so I believe I misplaced one of the tickets, but I have one of them. This was graded a PSA 7, which, hey, you know what? I will take it. And it was against the Boston Bruins. Yes, those nasty Bruins. And we luckily won 5-1. to one. There was a hat trick, which is three goals for those that don't know, by Mike Camilleri. So that was a very, very exciting game. It was a part of history. Number nine. All right, getting into number nine. And this was a card that I actually sent off to PSA um, a little while ago, and I got it back. And you have seen this before if you've been on my channel for a while. This is the rookie card of Mario Lemieux. 1985 tops. Uh, it's tops. Uh, OPG is worth a little bit more, but um, the it came back as an eight. I actually bought this card off of eBay. I'm very concerned that it might be false, that it might be faked. Um, and even when I sent it in, I was a little concerned, but it came back as authentic, which uh, I was pretty excited about uh, because there are a lot of uh, fake ones out there, more specifically in OPG, just because it is more valuable. So this was a very cool one, and I'll put the value, the current value uh, of what this is worth out there right now. For those that don't know, Mary Lemieux um, is one of the greatest of all time. Um, he doesn't touch Wayne Gretzky's records, but that was because he um, had to take a number of years off uh, for cancer treatments. So the comeback story of Mary Lemieux is pretty inspiring. And when you look at a points per game, he was up there with Mary Lemieux or with uh, Wayne Gretzky, which is pretty incredible. Number eight. Hey guys, here's number eight. So as you can see behind me, this is a toque, a Canadian hat, I mean, or a beanie. I mean, there's a lot of different names for it, but this is a toque of the Montreal Canadiens, as a lot of things are gonna be in this video. Um, and it's actually autographed by uh, a gentleman by the name of Jose Theodore. Now, for those that know, there was, um, uh, he was a Montreal Canadian goaltender for a number of years and he was very popular. He actually wore, not this toque, but a, 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 the same toque, not this exact toque, um, over top of his helmet on the very first Winter Classic game that they had in Edmonton uh, versus the Edmonton Oilers, I believe it was Edmonton. And uh, it was pretty special. Um, there's gonna be a picture on screen as well. It's really, really cool. And to get one that was autographed by Jose Theodore was just really, really special for me. Number seven. All right, we're getting to number seven now. And this, is an event that I went to. This is a non-hockey related event and I had the absolute pleasure and luck of going to the Masters. Now it was just a practice round, but for those that are not big into golf, this is the holy grail of golfing tournaments. To get into the Masters is something very, very special and very lucky. They have a, a random lottery draft every uh, year and um, we we got it, which was pretty incredible. I got to go with my dad, my brother, and my aunt, and it was an incredible experience. And the nice part, I will say the nice part of going on a practice round day is that you can bring your camera in. Um, just for those that don't know, this is in Augusta, Georgia. 
um, absolutely pristine course and you cannot bring on a regular golf day um, on a regular uh, masters tournament day you cannot bring your cell phone and you cannot bring your camera on a practice round you can bring your camera but again still no cell phone and they have a lineup of phones so you can call for free anywhere um, it's actually a pretty cool setup that they have but if you ever get an opportunity to go to the masters if you ever have an opportunity to play at augusta um, take that opportunity because it's pretty special number six all right guys here's number six this is a stick and a puck and this is actually autographed by Yvonne Cornwaye, which uh, is a, a Hall of Famer, uh, retired number with the Montreal Canadiens, and uh, the stick is autographed both by him down at the end down here, as well as that puck my wife got for me, and I got this custom framed because I thought it was so cool. Um, Yvonne Cornwaye is known as the Road Runner, and he won a lot of Stanley Cups with the Montreal Canadiens, so uh, this is just such a cool piece. I always really liked Yvonne Cornwaye. Number five. All right, now we're getting into number five. And this was uh, something I kind of alluded to earlier. This was my Wayne Gretzky rookie card. It is, again, it's only tops, which is uh, not as impressive as OPG. And it's only a PSA 2, but let me tell you, this is still a valuable card. Um, I'll have the value down below as well as to what it is currently. So Wayne Gretzky was the great one, and that is his nickname, the great one. He has uh, done some incredible things and when you look at his scoring record no one will ever touch his records they the, the sport has changed a lot but he was dominant in his time and will be the greatest of all time to give you an idea of why this is such a special rookie card as well yeah it's only a psa 2 it's only a, a tops the tops psa 10 broke a record and sold for over two hundred thousand dollars american Yes, $200,000 American for the Topps PSA 10. The PSA 10 OPG sold for $465,000. What? Uh, so that's why I always wanted to get one of these. Now, obviously, I can never afford anything higher than a 2, uh, maybe later in life, but certainly never a 10. So that is uh, something that I really wanted to add to my collection. Wayne Gretzky is such an incredible player. And I mean, the, even the quotes that uh, that he came out with, um, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And if you watch The Office, you'll know that Michael Scott, <laughs> Michael Scott quoted Wayne Gretzky in that episode. Number four. Well, this is number four. This is my Carey Price signed autographed jersey that's framed. It's got a lot of uh, pins and things in it as well. This is actually something that my dad bought for me, which was really special, obviously, because my dad got it for me. But Carey Price is one of my favorite um, uh, players. He's a goaltender with the Montreal Canadiens. Very, very special. I have his rookie card. Didn't make the list, unfortunately. That was a that would have been probably number 11. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to share this one with you. Uh, it's just a really cool piece, especially for my basement. Number three. All right, we're getting into number three. Now this one I actually don't physically have with me right now. It is, if you've watched me for a little while, you know that I have um, a, a mailbox on the other side of the border, border I'm in Canada and in the United States I have a, 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 a mailbox. And right now there is a box of Beckett cards sitting there. And there is a Sidney Crosby rookie card waiting for me. Very patiently waiting for me. It's been waiting there for about six months, seven months, eight months, pretty much since the beginning of the pandemic. So that is, that's fun. But this was something special and I have a picture of it on screen here as well because I opened that up, I think the year was 2004 at Christmas. My parents had bought me a box of 2004, 2005 Upper Deck Series 1 cards to open on Christmas. And on Christmas Day, I opened up and I was obviously hoping to pull a Sidney Crosby, not knowing what he was going to become. He, he was already referred to as the next one. They knew that he was something special and he was a generational player, but no one knew what he was truly going to become. And, and, uh, and for anybody that knows, he is an absolutely incredible player and he's broke a lot of records himself and, uh, himself and won a lot of Stanley Cups, which is the trophy in, in hockey. So um yeah absolutely incredible and for me to pull that myself and then finally get it graded it just felt it felt like it deserved a pretty high number on this list number two all right we're going to number two now and this one's pretty special this is actually something that my wife bought for me um when we were dating at the time 
Um, we might have been engaged, I don't remember now, but we were, at least dating or engaged at the point, we weren't married yet. And she bought for me this brick. Isn't that so romantic? She bought me a brick. No, what's, what's actually really interesting about this, it, it's kind of in, in connection with that centennial ticket of me going to the Montreal Canadian uh, 100th anniversary game. This is, and I blanked out some information here, so just kind of bear with me. This is a brick that says my name and a Hab fan since my birthday. And this is really cool. This is the Centennial Plaza um, brick. And this is a replica of the actual brick that is in Montreal in their Centennial Square, Centennial Plaza. So every time I go to Montreal, I don't get to go that often, but I try and go find my brick. It does move oddly enough time to time, I guess, as they're renovating things, but it's still pretty special that I have my name cemented with the team that I grew up with, that I loved, that I love, and uh, it was such a special. This thing isn't really worth anything, but it's worth a lot to me, and certainly coming from my now wife, it makes it that much more special. Number one. And the number one, drum roll please. This I have shown, if you've, seen, you've likely seen this video, but this is a ticket to the gold medal game of the 2010 Olympics for Canada versus the United States um, in hockey. And it was held in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, I did not go to that game, sadly. I mean, the tickets, uh, you look here, the ticket price was $550, but the actual uh, scalped price was upwards of 20,000 or more. So this was a very popular game. And, and uh, I have a video that I'll, I'll maybe leave in the eye of, the video, uh, of this video where you can see where I talk about this more in depth because the understanding how important this game was to Canada, um, for the Canadians out there, they know where they were when this game happened. Um, so it is something pretty special. And I think this is a valuable ticket. I mean, it is a PSA 9. This is a pop two. There is nothing graded higher than this. Um, this is the uh, one of two most uh, pristine tickets in existence. So I feel pretty blessed to have it. I wish I was at the game, but happy that I now have this in my collection. Um, not the most valuable out of this list, but it is uh, pretty special for a, a Canadian. Well, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting for you. Um, a lot of this was sentimental, but also valuable monetarily. So uh, I'm continuing to build my uh, collection, certainly of Pokemon cards, but certainly of sports memorabilia, of anything that I really find valuable for myself. And that's what collecting is all about. And I hope you guys have your own thing that, that uh, you know, you really invest your maybe money, your heart, your time, whatever into. It's something important to, to have is, is have a hobby, have, a, have something you can be passionate about. So thanks for watching guys. If you have not, please consider subscribing. You can do that right there. Please leave a like two videos right here that you're gonna love. We'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.